Hey everyone, this is a video tutorial for my parallel cryoelectron tomography scripts, in short, Pace Tomo. And I decided to split this tutorial up in several videos where I illustrate the different workflows. So please find the other videos in the descriptions. And also for more details and information, please refer to the GitHub page and the documentation and also of course the publication. All the links um, I'll provide below. Since video tutorials are usually out of date quite fast, I'll make sure to mark any future changes in the scripts and in the documentation as not discussed in the video tutorial. All right, to get started, I already set up Serial EM like I usually would. I set up Lotos mode with all the necessary uh, magnification and alignments of the different view and record mags. Um, I set the offset for focus and trial to, to zero and I already did all the microscope alignments, including if we go up here, the coma free alignment by CTF and Serial EM, and also the calibrate coma versus image shift. This has been moved in Serial EM 4.1 from the calibration menu to the focus tune menu, just in case you're looking for it. So this is important to keep the beam tilt minimal for large image shifts, like you would usually use if you collect uh, tilt series in parallel. Another setting that is important to make sure that you don't have a strong defocus gradient throughout your tilt series is the tilt axis offset. And that can be set in tasks, eccentricity, set tilt axis offset. So right now it's set to zero. Serial EM has the fine eccentricity routine to determine the tilt axis offset by lateral displacement. However, this is not really a good value to use with Pace Tomo because the lateral displacement is quite well predicted. The bigger problem is the displacement in Z. So the focus that you have to adjust. So for this purpose, I provide a custom script calculating the tilt axis offset in particular to optimize Z. And uh, I already copied it into the Serial EM script editor here. It's called the Pace Tomo measure offset script. And the default uh, variables work usually quite well. So I can just run it like this. But if you want to have more points to fit the final value, you can actually use a list of different off offsets, like for example, two, four, six. And also you can have a different tilt angle range or finer increments to get more points. But I'll just run the default one. And what it will do, it is will run three, in this case, different tilt series plus five microns of the tilt axis and minus five microns of the tilt axis. And it will just measure the, the focus by beam tilt on all these spots. And in the end, it will use that to calculate the offset of the tilt axis from the optical axis. All right, once it is done, it will pop up this little figure here showing you the overlap, which gives you a rough idea of how precise the estimate is. But you also get the actual output down here in the log window. So the, var the value varies a bit depending on the offset, but the overall value is about minus 0.4. This is accurate to about 0.1 microns. So what you can do if you still find a focus slope after collecting a Pace Tomo run, you can run GCTF or CTF find or whatever you prefer on your tilt series and plot your the focus against the tilt angle. And then depending on the slope, you can adjust this value further for your for your future sessions. But uh, this value should already keep it within within about a micron of the focus breadth of the tilt series. You can get it better, but uh, it is a good start. All right, uh, if you're done, you can close this. It will ask you if you actually want to apply this tilt axis offsets. So we're just going to do yes. And what you now have to make sure is that you check center image shift on tilt axis. And if you've done that, you can actually go ahead and run it again and you should see a better result close to zero for your estimated total tilt axis offset. And here we go. You can see now the remaining tilt axis offset is only about 0.1. And we can also once again apply, apply this offset, but uh, it will vary about plus minus 0.1 every time you run. So that's a pretty good estimate. And that concludes the setup, everything you need to do before you actually start setting up your Pace Tomo targets. So the target setup differs a bit depending on your type of sample. So I will make separate videos for the different types of target setup. So please refer to the next video. 
And as always, if you have any issues or any bugs, please report them on the GitHub page under the issues section. I'm grateful for any kind of feedback and any suggestions for improvements as well. Thank you so much.